the Joe Rogan experience. I'm I'm fine, man. I I'm, couldn't be better. You know, I'm, I'll be 81 Friday. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, it Does is. that sound crazy to say? Because I'm 51, that sounds crazy to say. When I say it, I'm like, Jesus, is that true? <laughs> Fuck. I'm 30 years older than you. Wow. Wow, that's something. But I feel good, man. You know, all the systems are go again, you know. And that that makes a big difference in the life, you know. Yeah. That's what I found out. The fountain of youth is uh, the pussy. That's it? Yeah. That's all it is? Drink out of the fountain of youth and you'll live forever. Really? Yep. Okay. Yeah. What about if you're gay? Well, I guess. Long pause. <laughs> the, yeah, I had to think about that one. <laughs> Well, I guess it might be dick for them. I guess it. No, I might no be. no. It has to be the fountain. It has to be the fountain. So th even for gay folks, it's got to be pussy too. Well, how long? What's the longest living gay guy that you know? That's a good question. Huh? Uh, like Bob Hope, man. He, Was he, he gay? No. <laughs> at least, at least one night I knew him. He was. <laughs> No, that's my fountain of youth. Yeah. You know, because it... Uh, sure, romance. Well, what happens is your body, when it reaches a certain stage, it, it starts disintegrating because it's getting ready for the recall mm -hmm. and the reboot. And yeah. You, and you get a new body and away you go again. But if you keep this body healthy, uh, it, it feels that there's no need to uh, to leave because you obviously still got more shit to do. Yeah, you're still enjoying it. Yeah, you're still uh, pr producing, you know. Are you exercising and everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what do you do? I got a trainer now. Yeah? But my main exercise is tango. Tango? Tango. Really? I will turn you on to tango. Tango is old folks' sex. You, you, the whole thing about tango is, it's so intricate. It was a the original tango was a, a mating dance from Africa. Really, and what they would do, they, the the tribes, the young kids, would get together and dance, and flirt with their feet. And so when the slaves got taken, you know, from Africa and put on the boats and that, they ended up crossing t the the foot dance with the adagio French dance the dance of the brothels oh. and so the so then they ended up with a, a music or a dance called tango which was a combination tango itself is a word that means small drum it's an african drum just like mambo it's an african word that means uh, storytelling really yeah Dude, story time with Tommy Chung. Here. Oh yeah, I, man! I was Dropping in jail. Knowledge. I had I had nothing but time, and I wrote a whole paper on tango. So anyway, tango, like I go to Argentina with my wife a lot, and it's very tough dance to dance with your wife. You have to dance with a stranger, and she has to dance with a stranger. Why is that? I think it's you're too intimate, too personal. You know each other too well. Mm -hmm. If you're a stranger then all you can respond to is the dance uh, uh, signals. Mm -hmm. Like the, the man has to lead, but he has to lead in such a way that, it, that you can't see him. You know, he can't pull her around. The, 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 he suggests. Oh, okay. Like he, if, and so he'll suggest a certain move, and then the girl, the, uh, her partner, will understand that move, and then she can do a couple of steps. And that cer a certain way, hmm. like one is called the uh, uh, fuck. I can't remember the the term uh, ochos, ochos, which means back and forth. And 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 uh, out of those combinations, once the guy gets a girl going into the ochos, for instance, then he can move on to another. He'll he'll stop her with his foot, and then he'll move on to another series of of, of moves. And they're all designed, and but the stranger, and, and, you know, the woman has to really listen to the the moves if she's dancing with a, a stranger or a teacher, mm. and and that's how, and then it has to be a close embrace, and the woman has to be cuddled up against the guy, not always, but for the most part. So you're not looking at your feet at all, and it's all about feel, and so you have to feel the other person's body. And uh, 
it can get so intimate, man, <laughs> that you really felt after a good dance with a good tango teacher, you really feel like having a cigarette, you know, really? and uh, did relaxing you, for a bit. You, did you study this? Did you like take classes? I got, I got turned on to it in Paris. I was, uh, Cheech and I were finishing up uh, the Corsican Brothers, and I was, we, we got offered to do the Siskel Kid. And they sent me the script, and in the script it said, Tango Dancers. And so there, we, my wife and I, girlfriend at the time, but wife now, we used to drive by this place that said Tango and Neon Lights. And so we stopped and, and took our first Tango lesson from this uh, George and Rosie a couple there and George was too old to get out of bed he was but is in his 90s or something he was in bed but Rosie came and met us and we and she showed us the first little bit of tango well my wife Shelby who was an excellent dancer she's been studying dance you know ever, ever since uh, I can remember you know and so she, she she started doing salsa first and then I found out about that and I had to learn salsa but then we started learning tango together. And then she went on to really learn how to dance, how to dance with the pros. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm still struggling to be a pro. And it's very hard. It's like MMA fighting. You know, like she's a pro, I'm an amateur. Mm -hmm. And so when, I, when we go down to Buenos Aires, like we went down for her birthday, uh, I was the video operator. Because I didn't know how to dance, mm -hmm. you know, that well. I, I take lessons almost uh, 20 years now. But I still don't have the skills to to be a, a professional like, like, like that. But, uh, yeah, so I went down and videotaped her. And then I came back and I made a vow. I said, this is embarrassing, you know, because people know me from years ago. And I still can't dance. <laughs> so so it's, it's about time that I learned. So I, I gave up everything to learn tango. and now Really? I got, like, I got, what'd you give up? Golf, more than anything. Really? Yeah. There's a lot of guys right now that are going crazy. Why would you give up golf for a tango? Well... Actually, it worked out really well. I played a, a tournament golf uh, last week, and I did the best I've ever done. If you lay off something, mm. you forget all your bad habits. Oh, that's true too. Yeah. And you're probably really enthusiastic about playing oh, it. Again. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't. I, I I did good. I got about two pars. Mm. Incredible for you know for me. I'm you know I got about a thirty six handicap something like that. But uh, so but I gave up golf because it's too much energy. It was taking too much energy. Sure. You got to walk around all the time. Yeah. I would also imagine that the tango dancing, all the movement and the footwork would actually probably make you more steady and stable, balance oh. better. So it'd probably make your golf game better. Oh, it did. Totally. Yeah. Totally. totally. I noticed that with uh, yoga. Yoga makes pool better. Some, yeah. Some weird way. Like it makes you stand stronger. Yeah. Yeah. So you well, were, there's also a, a, a pause. And comedy, uh, someone asked me about the secret of comedy. I said, it's a pause. And, and the tango is a pause, too. Mm, the it's timing. That, the timing. Waiting. Yeah. Waiting. Waiting. And using that, that, that silence, you know, before you say something to mm. give people the, a time to formulate their own thoughts about what you're doing or to concentrate on what you're going to say next. And, and that's the uh, same, same thing with tango. <laughs>